freedom from pride, modesty, meekness, unpretentiousness, a right view of God, self, and others. What we all need to be, have, and show is humility. So for our guidance for this day and our moments of inspiration is humility. The only humility that is really ours isn't what we try to show before God in prayer. But that which we carry with us in our daily conduct. Amen. Humility is not weakness, but, but a strong quality, praised in the Bible and commanded by God for all true Christians. Amen. Take your honors and rewards lightly. Knowing God makes us humble. Knowing ourselves keeps us humble. Amen. Mm -hmm. False humility is true pride. True humility is not looking down on yourself, but looking up to Christ. Amen. If you cannot come to God with a broken heart, then come to him for a broken heart. The man who humbly bows before God will stand upright before man. The cross is the greatest example of humility and devotion in the universe. Jesus put your needs ahead of his own. He considered you more valuable than himself. And to take with us this week, Christ is the humil hu humility of God embodied in human nature. Yes. The eternal love humbling himself, clothing itself in the garb of meekness and gentleness to win and serve and save us. Amen. Humility keeps us from depending on our own strength. Mm. When Joshua first went to Ai in Joshua 3, 7 and 3, he didn't consult God, but relied on the strength of his army to defeat this small city. Mm. Only after the Israelites were, Israel was defeated, did they turn to God and ask, what happened? <laughs> Too often we rely on our own skills and strength, yeah. especially when the task before us seems easy. Mm. We go to God only when the obstacles seem too great. However, only God knows what lies ahead. Consulting him, even when we are on a winning streak, may save us from grave mistakes and misjudgments. Amen. May, God may want us to learn lessons, remove pride, yes. or consult others before he will work through us. Amen. <coughs> Humility clarifies our dependence on God. Yes. Obedience to God begins with humility. Mm. We must believe that his way is better than our own. Yes. We may not always understand his ways of working, but by humbling and obeying, we will receive his blessings. Amen. We must remember that one, God's ways are best. Yes. Two, God wants our obedience more than anything else. Hallelujah. And three, God can use anything to accomplish his purposes. Amen. Amen. Humility challenges our pride. Nahum, or Naaman, a great hero, was used to getting respect. And he was outraged when Elijah treated him like an ordinary person. A proud man, he expected royal treatment. To wash in the great river was one thing. To wash in a great river was one thing. But 
the Jordan was small and dirty. Towards him, the Jordan, Naaman thought was beneath him, a man in his position. But Naaman had to humble himself and obey Elijah's commands in order to be healed. Naaman left in a rage because the cure for his disease seemed too simple. He was a hero and he expected a heroic cure. Mm. Full of pride and self-will, he could not accept the simple cure of faith. Sometimes people react to God's offer of forgiveness in the same way. To just believe in Jesus somehow didn't seem significant enough to bring eternal life. To obey God's command doesn't seem heroic. What Naaman had to do to have his leprosy washed away is similar to what we have to do to have our sins washed away. Yes. Humbly accept God's mercy. Amen. Don't let your reaction to the way of faith keep you from the cure that you need the most. Jesus. Jesus is our model for humility. How can we humble ourselves? Some people try to give the appearance of humility in order to man manipulate others. Others think that humility means putting themselves down. True, a truly humble person compares himself only with Christ, realizing their sinfulness and understand their limitations. On the other hand, they only recognize their gifts and strength and are willing to use them as Christ directs. Humility is not self degradation. It is, it is realistic assessment and commitment to serve. Jesus advised people not to rush to the best places at a feast. People today are just as eager to right, to rise to their social status whether by bringing being in the with the right people dressing for success or driving the right car whom do you try to impress rather than aiming for prestige take the place where you can serve if god wants you to serve on a higher scale he will invite you to take a higher place. Amen. To refuse to be humble, to refuse to humble ourselves before God is to invite him to humble us. Ooh. He will do so not to hurt us, but to restore and renew us. In Jesus, may the Holy Spirit empower us to live a life free of self-interest as well as are willing to serve others. Amen. Amen and amen. We thank the Lord for his word thus far. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection. And then we will have a word from our pastor. Pray that all hearts and minds open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. 